Man. Hi, how are you doing today? I could be better. Huh. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm Dr. Osweiler. I'm going to be examining you today, if that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let me just grab some hand sanitizer here. Right. Can you verify your name and date of birth? Yeah. Hannah Smith, 0523. Yeah. All right. And uh, so what's been going on? I have severe diarrhea, fevers, major stomach pain. No appetite. When did all these symptoms start? Three days ago? Okay, so are you on any uh, medications right now? I just got put on Dioxaline for an ear infection for a week ago. Okay, okay. And how often would you say you're going to the bathroom? I would say probably any time of the day. Oh. All right, and um, and you know what the consistency of the stool is? Is it like formed? It's been very watery. Okay. Um, and any blood in your stool? Okay. And um, out of how many times you used the bathroom would you say there was blood? Uh, probably five times there's been blood. And how high have your fevers been? And how often? Um. The highest fever I've had was 101.8. That was it. Any fevers today? No. That's good. That's good. Um, with the nausea, have you experienced any uh, vomiting? Uh, with the nausea, I'm sorry. No, no vomiting, but the nausea and the stomach pain have made me not want to eat. I understand that. Um, how much have you been eating? Only like, only a couple of small. And, um, so based on your developed symptoms, I suspect that you might have E. difficile. Uh, this is an infection that uh, is in the colon, and that can cause inflammation and severe diarrhea. Just to confirm my diagnosis, I am going to have you do a stool sample. Okay. All right. And I will give you a kit that you take home with provided instructions of how to collect the sample. And you will label it with all your information, like your name, date of birth. Um, the stool sample will be tested for the C. C. toxin, and that will present if it is a positive test. All right. So all I have to do is follow the instructions in the kit. Yes. So how did I get this infection? So C. diff is a very contagious bacteria, and you will very likely to be exposed to the bacteria in an environment such as a bathroom or through ingested food if you touched it. Uh, you may have been susceptible to the bacteria because of your recent course of antibiotics uh, for your ear infection. Although diarrhea is sometimes common when taking an antibiotic, um, severe diarrhea along with your other symptoms that you presented such as the fever, the nausea, uh, that can be a sign of I recommend that you stay home until your symptoms have cleared up and wash your hands for at least 20 seconds with soap and water every time you use the bathroom and every time before you eat. All right, I understand. And for the treatment, we'll most likely plan to have you stop all your other antibiotics through your ear infection and start a new antibiotic that's called vancomycin. Uh, you'll take this antibiotic for at least 10 days and if your symptoms get any worse within the few days of being on that antibiotic, you'll likely be admitted to the hospital. Just because we don't want you getting severely dehydrated and having any worsening of symptoms because of that. Uh, again, to prevent the spread of your infection, just make sure to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds with soap and water. And if you are living with someone in the same house, uh, try to use a separate bathroom. Uh, as not to infect them. If you can't, try to sit in the bathroom after you're using it, especially if you have a diarrhea. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. And also, um, here is a pamphlet that I have that is for the C. diff infection. It has more information about the infection and has other good sources that you can reach out to to learn more about it. Okay, thank you so much.
You're welcome. Have a good rest of your day. Hope you feel better.